Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in. If you're new, Libra, we're doing your reading. It's early as fuck in the morning, but I'm up doing all this reading, finishing these readings for February 2022. <clears throat> Let's see what we have for you, Libra. Spirit guides, benevolent ancestors, universal energy, help guide me for the messages for Libra 20, February 2022. I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread for you guys. It's uh, over a monthly energy, a brief love spell. <laughs> love spell? What the hell? Somebody doing love spells? <laughs> Why would I just say that? Um... Check in on your love and then the career and finance or money, whatever you want to call it. All right, Libra, let's get into this for you. These cards are pre-shuffled. <clears throat> Before I started this reading, um, the message that I'm getting is that somebody's trying to move away from something, but it's like somebody or some situation won't let them go. I'm getting that it's a somebody or somebody's. You got the name of swords. Yeah, somebody could be watching you or you're watching somebody. <clears throat> trying to learn something or figure something out about a, situ a situation. <clears throat> Look, y'all gonna have to bear with my wake up voice because <laughs> this is just what it is this morning. Okay. Let me see. I should have made some tea, but I just didn't. I will after y'all video. Alright, Ten of Swords is crossing you. That's the challenge. Yeah, I'm definitely getting, there might be some people that betrayed you here and you're keeping an eye on them or something like that. Two of Wands in Reverse. It's that message that I'm getting, Two of Wands in Reverse, not being able to go nowhere, not being free to travel or move down your path. What's supporting this? <clears throat> I hope that music's not too loud in the back. Seven of Swords. Yeah, this is some sneaky treachery going on here. Lying. Somebody trying to get away with something. Somebody moving strategically. This could be you moving strategically, trying to avoid situations that are going to cause you heartbreak, pain, betrayal, downfalls, whatever. Or this could be somebody. We'll see when in your energy and the environmental energy what comes out. Show me the recent past for Libra. The moon. Something was revealed in the past. Some type of secret. Something that, some information that you might not have known. Nine of Wands. <clears throat> this definitely took you off guard. And maybe this is why you're feeling suspicious. You're over here looking at these people. You were taken off guard here. And the Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. So whatever took you off guard really affected you. And possibly even affected your movement forward. Okay. <clears throat> Eight of Cups. I'm doing this again. I don't know why. So yeah, overall you're thinking about walking away from something that is so crazy. <laughs> I guess that message was for you guys. Seven of Wands. 
Yeah, you're protecting yourself. You're protecting your energy. You're protecting your movement. Look at this card, those alligators. <clears throat> so in the future, you, you're going to have your guard up. You're going to be protecting your interest and your decision and your path. How are you viewing yourself, Libra? Let's see. how you see yourself it doesn't want it to come out what the hell <laughs> okay uh, judgment so you could be judging yourself right now uh, hmm maybe you're wondering if you made the right decision or this could just be you making that final decision like you're sticking to it this time you're not going back or you're not giving in to something, you're sticking to what your original decision was. <clears throat> oh my God. My ear was ringing. The right one this time. King of Wands. So other people in your, oh. So this is your environment. Mm. This person could be very attractive. Maybe that's why you don't want to let them go. Eight of Wands. Or there's somebody very attractive in your environment that's coming towards you. Or sending a message to you. I don't know if this person has to do with this whole other situation that you're protecting yourself from. You got the higher font. But we'll clarify and see. <clears throat> We have the hermit and your hopes and fears. You're um, possibly fearing being alone. Eight of Wands. Somebody is coming towards you, though. <clears throat> what else? The higher font again. I just saw it at the bottom of the deck now it's out okay that's the outcome <clears throat> whatever this situation is that you're moving away from that you're trying not to get betrayed in you're watching closely I feel like you're being guided to move away from this like by your higher self spirit God angels whatever you believe in this is there's some type of inner compass that's guiding you away from something ace of wands yeah this is so that you can have a new opportunity you can be inspired <clears throat> i'm feeling like there was a lot of backstabbing going on in some type of situation let's clarify this uh page of swords for libra <clears throat> the tower so yeah definitely some some type of foundation here broke down this could be within a family or a relationship even within a job situation something just wasn't working anymore and maybe you realize like uh this isn't for me anymore because it's not stable it doesn't make me happy they don't make me happy whatever this is two of wands in reverse again <clears throat> Something is keeping you stuck there, though. Show me the ten of swords. That's the challenge. So maybe something wasn't allowing for growth, and that could be a job or in a relationship or in your family. Knave of Wands. So there was definitely somebody who did some shit. They were very mature. King of Cups in reverse. Somebody was giving some fake love. Okay. <clears throat> the 
the devil, yeah. <laughs> With the seven of swords, that ain't nothing but sneakiness right there. That's that's the devil. <laughs> what what the hell? Yeah, somebody was being manipulative and lying. Mm hmm. And now you're trying to get away from them. It could have been a lot of gossip at your job, just a lot of shit going on at work, five of swords in reverse. <clears throat> you could have been talking your shit. <laughs> Show me the moon. The hangman. Yeah, that's what I said already. Somebody was definitely stuck. Maybe after all this went down, that's when you realized that you were stuck. Two of Pentacles. <clears throat> yeah, stuck juggling. Stuck having to make a decision, a choice, whether to walk away or not. There was something that still had your interest there. You still had something invested there. At your job, in this family, in this relationship. Show me the Eight of Cups crowning the screen. Eight of Wands, again, this card been wanting to come out. I feel like somebody's announcing that they're leaving. I think it's going to be kind of abrupt. There's a new opportunity that somebody's getting somewhere else. It's going to be more long-term and stable. <clears throat> All right, show me... Seven of Wands. All right, we got the Two of Wands again wanting to show up here. So yeah, you're protecting your path forward. You're going to be guarding your energy more often here. Yeah, nobody's going to be able to play you for a fool again. I feel like there was some type of lesson that you're learning from this situation. And now you're trying to hurry up and get the fuck out of Dodge is what I'm getting here. Like you're ready to start something new. Not dealing with these type of energies, these type of people, these type of jobs anymore. So you could be starting a new job in February. <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles with your judgment over here. It took you a long time to make this decision, but I feel like you've probably been going back and forth in your head about it. We got temperance in reverse. Yeah, not really sure what to do. Not having balance in the situation. Maybe not looking at all sides of it. And you finally end up making the decision. But you're definitely thinking about moving away from something. And it's because this situation is just totally fucking toxic. Total toxic. <laughs> That's what we're going to just say about that. Then we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. Somebody could feel like they're running out of options with you. What does that even mean? Or somebody could feel like they're not an option for you anymore. Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This could be somebody that was very attracted to you and you were very attracted to them. Because you guys match here. You guys have, could have been both very goal-oriented, business-minded, very passionate. A lot of chemistry in this situation I'm feeling with this person. But they don't feel like they're an option for you anymore. We got the fool wanting to show again. <clears throat> In your hopes and fears, you have the hermit, which is you isolating yourself. You're hoping to isolate yourself, but you're also fearing to be alone. Somebody's hoping they can pull this off. They can pull off this new journey, this new start by themselves hmm all right show me this her hierophant the hierophant okay <clears throat> 
Knave of Pentacles. We have almost all the pages out here. We got the Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and Page of Swords. We're just missing the Page of Cups. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Definitely making a decision here. You're discerning some information that you're finding out. Maybe about something that you were stuck doing in the past. Or that you realized you were going to be stuck doing if you don't move away from it. Mm -hmm. Nine of Cups, you're going after your wish fulfillment. But this Knave of Pentacles with the Hierophant is telling me that you're maybe taking a new approach to how you do things and who you follow. Maybe this is something that you're feeling like you need to become more righteous with within yourself. Um... And for some of you guys, you found some type of new religion or belief system to follow. <clears throat> All right, Libra, let me pull all this stuff up because this one took too long. And I'll do your love spread and career and finance. Well, it's not letting me talk, so whatever. I guess I'm gonna pull it up right here. Okay. Well, just give me a second. <clears throat> I guess I really didn't need to pause it anyway. <laughs> All right, Labor, let's go into your love spread. Ooh, let's see what we have for you in love. This is not even the deck I'm supposed to be using, but I picked it up, so I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna put your energy on this side, your person's energy on this side. All right, Spirit, give me four cards for Libra in love. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles. So you definitely feel like there's a new opportunity for something coming in. You could be feeling like you're being blessed with something or someone. Oh, the hangman again. Somebody was stuck. Or you're looking at this in a different perspective now. You're seeing the opportunity in something. Or I'm not going to keep saying something, someone. You're seeing the opportunity in someone. <clears throat> you could be looking at this person differently. But I feel like it's in a good way. Yeah, two of cups. Yep, it's in a good way. We got the strength card. Somebody's trying to have enough courage. Maybe you lacked courage before. Judgment again. Somebody might definitely be going through some self-esteem stuff right now. Because judgment keeps coming out for you. <clears throat> I feel like this is self-judgment. You could be judging the situation though. Or making a final decision about it. Which we saw that in your... Kelsey Cross. Let me see your person, Libra, Libra's person. We got the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so this person's ready to give. They have a lot to give to. <clears throat> they got a lot to give. The Ace of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is ready. Uh, and they might be coming your way. Look at that. Lovers at the bottom of the deck. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they could be coming in to bring you something. This Page of Pentacles was with the Hierophant too. This person could be proposing to you. Some of you Libras might be getting married or getting proposed to. Especially if you're already in a relationship with somebody. Well, duh. But <laughs> King of Pentacles. Or this could be a gift of some other type. This person is just showing their love and affection and they're bringing something to you. Yeah, they're coming to tell you how they really feel. <clears throat> or whatever this is that they're offering you is going to tell you how they really feel about you. Three of Swords. Okay. Somebody could be bringing an apology. We got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. 
All right, I'm gonna clarify their side because <clears throat> I feel like your side's pretty clear. Let's go ahead and see why the Three of Swords is here for your person. The fool. Okay, so yeah, somebody could be coming to apologize. They feel like they did something wrong here. They could have backstabbed you, betrayed you, had you in a third party situation, but this person's coming to apologize. So this is definitely for you people, you Libras, I was going to say you people, <laughs> you Libras that was dealing with somebody and then there's a separation. What are they bringing? What is this page of pentacles? <clears throat> I just heard, I'm sorry. They're bringing an apology. It's an apology. Oh God, that's why the card ain't coming out. Really? Yeah. There, yep. <clears throat> Knight of Swords. Spirit was like, I've done told you. Yes, they're bringing an apology. They're coming to tell you the truth about something and to apologize. Tell you how much they love you. They're tired of being alone. <clears throat> okay. Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is sometimes the mistress of the tarot. So yeah, they could be coming back towards you because they find you highly attractive right now. Or this could have been the person that they were dealing with. Also could have been a fire sign. Maybe they're coming back to say they're not dealing with anybody anymore. They turn down something or someone for you. King of Swords. Yeah, they're trying to be honest though. The King of Swords is somebody who's righteous, honest. Uh, this could be somebody that works in legal, the legal field, a judge, a lawyer. Um, but yeah, it's usually somebody who's thinking and doing the right thing, making the right moves, being smart about a situation. But for the most part, they're honest. The King of Swords is. And we got the Emperor in reverse. Somebody definitely lost control of this situation. I don't know. I would be careful uh, with that devil. You really are connected to this person and you do want a new opportunity with them. But I don't know if they already done broke your heart. Uh, yeah. But I'm going to mind my business over here. Just be mindful of people trying to hold on to your energy. What are their motivations for doing it? Like, really. <clears throat> All right, let's get into your career spread. Career spread for Libra. And again, these cards are pre shuffled before every reading, so don't worry. All right, let's get five cards for Libra's career and finance. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, somebody's getting some help financially. Or somebody's coming out of a situation that they were financially strapped. Someone could have lost a job here. <clears throat> yeah, somebody was stuck and didn't know what to do in a situation. I feel like this is ending. The sun in reverse. Yeah, somebody lost hope. Somebody didn't know what to do. Yeah, somebody was strapped for cash. Four of Pentacles holding back. You were uh, <clears throat> possibly trying to save as much as you could because you didn't know when you were going to have enough money again. We got the King of Swords again. Somebody could have changed career fields. Yep. Yep. Somebody's starting a new cycle somewhere else. If it's not a whole new career, it's definitely a different job. Somebody's discovering a new way to make money. Yeah, you were stuck. Stuck in the situation. Couldn't move forward. Couldn't escape it. But you're ending up. I've, I've seen that that was ending. All right. Let me see. We got the page of pentacles again. 
This King of Swords, Page of Pentacles keep coming out. This is the third time for both of them. <clears throat> okay, so I'm getting here with this Page of Pentacles on the Five of Pentacles in reverse that you were like... <laughs> doing balancing acts to try to get bills paid five of wands yeah there was a lot of conflict going on i'm hearing somebody was telling somebody i i just ain't got it <laughs> you could have been saying that to one of your bill collectors I definitely feel like you learned how to free yourself for this, from the situation. Some Something came to you. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, you were definitely in a place of darkness with the hermit and the sun in reverse. Something wasn't growing. Something wasn't working. You felt by yourself. I think you found the answer, though. I'm going to keep those right there. Show me this king of swords. You figure something out. You decided to work smarter, not harder. Yeah, you made a decision to move away from this. Somebody could have had like a new idea for a business or a product or something that they're trying to launch. Mm. Page of Swords. Yeah, you learned about something here. You figured something out. Look at you studying, trying to get all the ideas. <laughs> so you're starting a new cycle. You could be starting a new business. You could have tried to start this before and wanted to walk away, but decided not to. Somebody's persevering with an idea. All right. I am going to go ahead and leave your reading there. Oh, we got the lovers right here. <laughs> your love life could be affecting this as well. Um, this person that you're dealing with definitely could be a karmic or you have some type of soul contract or soul ties with this person. But anyway, Libra, I'm going to leave your reading there. I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you hit that like button before you go. Comment down below. And if you vibe, make sure you subscribe. I will see you next time. Okay, this is a little...